in. Like I said, I haven't been using um, foundations lately, but what I have been using are BB creams. So I won't go too much into them now because I'll probably go into them again. Um, and I've been feeling a little blab too much about them if I do. So first of all, the BB cream I'm wearing today. This one was sent to me. Now I bought all those other La Roche-Posay products, but this one here was sent to me. This is the Hydrine BB cream and it's the one for light skin. So um, I think this only comes in two colours though, two shades as far as I know. I'm not 100% sure of the price. But this is one of those ones that is great for sensitive skin. It's made with their uh, thermal spring water, which I'm a huge fan of. I have a, a few of the thermal spring water sprays myself. And this is a really nice one. Now this one is um, slightly more pink compared to the other ones, but I'm wearing it today and it just seems to balance off the kind of more high colouring in my face. and makes it match my neck a bit better so that's absolutely fine i'd say this would be a uh, light to medium coverage it's not like totally no coverage but it's not high coverage it's just a really nice um run of the mill bb cream as far as i can tell i'm not that used to them yet to be honest i've only started using them all about maybe two months ago and i wouldn't be used to the asian ones to be able to compare them for you so hopefully i'll be able to do that in the future but i really like this and i use this um, instead of my moisturiser. So this is my moisturiser and it has an SPF 20 in it. So I love it. It does pretty much everything in one go. So this is my foundation, my moisturiser and my SPF today. And that's why I love that. Another one I've been really enjoying is from Maybelline. And this is their Dream Fresh BB Cream. Their 8 in 1 BB Cream. Um, and this has an SPF of 30. This, when I first saw the colour, it's for the light. It's fair? No, it's light, yeah. And when I first saw the colour, I thought it would be too dark. But when I put it in, it's really lovely. It's more like a tinted moisturiser. It does give a little bit of coverage, but it's more just evens out rather than um, it wouldn't like actually cover imperfections as such. Like it wouldn't have enough coverage to cover spots or redness and stuff like that. But it is a really nice glow to it. So does that other one, actually. The um, La Roche-Posay one has a really nice glow to it as well. My sister tried this out when she came and visited me and she loved it so much she picked it up herself so um and it is even paler than me and this seems to be a fine color on her so um yeah i think it just seems to really blend into skin really beautifully and this comes in four different colors so, yeah, yeah i got this in boots then this one another one that was sent to me but it's really really nice in that it has way more coverage it's the sleek be beautiful blemish balm and um, this is an spf of 15 so it's a little bit lower than i'd like to go i normally don't go below a 20 but this has a really high coverage and it's a perfect colour match for me. This is the best colour match out of all of the BB creams I have so far. It's one of those light kind of ashy yellow ones. So that's exactly what my skin tone is. Um, I really, really love this. And I don't need too much concealer with it. It really covers really, really well. Um, I'm very impressed by it. Uh, you can't put it over too much are too many other layers because it can I don't know it can maybe bunch a little bit over it or maybe not go in so smoothly over it so you just want to have a light moisturizer on underneath first but um it really is the coverage of this that I think is fantastic and the color now the only thing I will say in the downside to this is it does contain mineral oil which I think is a shame um I don't really know why they use mineral oil maybe there's something else they could have used but it hasn't clogged me up so that's I suppose another good thing um but if you are or if you know that you're sensitive to mineral oil then you might want to stay away from it but other than that everyone else definitely try it out this is definitely one of my favorite ones by far I would be uh, kind of reaching for this over a lot of my foundations lately because like I said I'm into the more kind of natural looking skin and even though this does go give very good coverage it's still not heavy or cakey looking so I think it's because the color is so perfectly bang on that I love it so much and it does have like antioxidants and other really good stuff in it so you can check that out on the sleek website and then the last one um color wise this is the little bit of the darkest of the lot of them but what's so good about this one it's the BB cream by Garnier and it's the one for greasy to or oily skin combination or oily skin so it's really good for um keeping your mat throughout the day and stopping you getting too shiny so I actually tend to use this as um, a base underneath makeup that's maybe a little bit too pale for me so it helps balance out the shade um, and this has an SPF of 20 in it as well so they're just four of the ones that I've been testing out lately and they're the ones that I really like so they're those BB creams um, then apart from them I have to use a little bit of concealer on say some of the worst 
worse areas. So it's my Derma Blend, of course, um, concealer, and I'm Opal number 12. So. This will always be my favourite, so there's no point in harping on about that too much. Then for under eye concealers, it's the MAC ones, and it's the Mineralize and the Select um, Cover Up. I jump back and forth between these two. I think both of them are equally amazing. Um, and yeah, I think I'll probably always go back to these ones and I've mentioned them a million times before and they're around 18 euro here in Ireland and I don't think that's too bad because they last for ages. Um, I'm wearing it today. Now, even though I'm really pale, I still go for the NW20 of these. The NW15 just doesn't cover up the purple underneath my eye, you know, and the NW20 certainly isn't too dark. So um, I tend to put NW20 with anyone who's NC15. Only the very, very palest of the pale do I put the NW15 underneath the eye but they also couldn't be too discoloured because the NW15 wouldn't. I just don't find there's enough pigment in it to um, conceal higher colouring in that area. So that's why I use them. Then quickly, I'm using still my Vichy Aerotant Mineral Makeup as a setting powder. I don't really pop it everywhere. It's not going on very heavy. It's just in any little areas that I want to maybe set it a little bit more. But this still keeps the glow of the BB cream, which I really like. And it just gives a really nice finish to the skin. And I'm number 10 opal in that. Then because I've been going really minimal with my makeup, I've just been making sure that my eyebrows are really groomed. And I've kind of been going back to my sleek brow kit for that. So it's the light one that I have, even though my eyebrows are dark, I don't like to put a dark colour through them because I don't want them to be any darker than they are now. And this is the colour they are with these colours in. So that's why I think that's a perfect one for me. And I use um, a flat definer brush like this. So this can be used for eyeliner as well, but it's perfect for using for getting um, slightly more straight lines in your eyebrows. And this is the Sigma Flat Definer E15. Really love that. For my nails, so you can see this today, I've been really into blue nail varnish lately for some reason. So the two that I've been wearing most have been this Max uh, Factor Max Effect Mini, Mini Nail Polish. And this is in the colour Candy Blue. So that's there. Um, these are really handy guys because I find that most of my bigger nail varnishes do tend to um, dry out. So it's nice having a smaller colour. And then um, my Glow Baby Glow Yes Cyan one from Primark as well. I've been wearing a lot and I just really love those shades. On my lips, um, I've been not really using a colour as such. I might pop on um, a lip liner and then I've just been using um, this guy here. It's the Smooch Operator by Soap and Glory. It's just a really lovely um, softening, like, oil base lip conditioner and it just really really softens the lips it's just one of those nice one of the minimal ones it has a kind of a i don't know like a pepperminty taste but i don't know if it's meant to have peppermint in it um it's called the lip butter balm yeah i really like this there are other ingredients in it but if you go to the soap and Worry lip glory website which i'll link to below you can read more about it there it's a really nice um lip balm i'll probably be doing a blog post on it soon and then um, finally for cheeks pretty much because I haven't really been wearing any eye products. Oh, apart from my um, False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara. This is the one I've been reaching for mostly. I think I've mentioned it before because I'm in love with the packaging. But it has a really nice brush as well. Yeah, I really like that. Um, and I got this Max Factor Miracle Touch Cream Blush. And I actually used it first of all in a tutorial. Um, the one where I did the bullet wound one uh, for Halloween and then that evening when I took off my makeup and I put on normal makeup I used it as a blusher and I really really love it so kind of the last say week or so I've been using it pretty much every day that I have been wearing a little bit of makeup as a light blush on my cheeks and red is a colour I'd never have gone for before for a blusher and I'm really really impressed this is number seven soft candy um, and I think it's a really pretty just a really pretty natural flush. It doesn't go on really red because you blend it out with your fingers, but it goes on really nicely. And then the final product is another sleek makeup product. Um, this is the Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette. So this is um, nine euros or nine pounds um, sterling or eight ninety nine, And I got the one for Fair, I think. Yeah, so there's Fair, Light, Medium and Dark. So this comes with a really nice natural contour shade which I'm wearing today I just think it's perfect for my skin tone then it comes with the highlight which I'm also wearing which I think is beautiful now this blusher that comes with it it's it is a lo lovely blusher I'd say it's kind of like peachy keen or um 
one of those ones by MAC so it's just a really beautiful uh, peachy one that has a gold sheen to it but I just tend not to wear shimmer through much too too much really through the day on my cheeks and um, like actual blush and I haven't been going out much lately so I haven't gotten so much wear out of that it's more of these two guys that I'm really in love with so um, I think for nine bucks that's really good to get three really nice products and it comes with a mirror which is always really handy so that's pretty much that and um, I know this is kind of long I didn't think I'd have that much to start off with but um, I'll be back now next week I'm gonna do a normal makeup Makeup tutorial I think just to break up the monotony of the Halloween ones for anyone who's not that into their Halloween looks but I will be still doing another Halloween look next week as well because I'm trying to keep up with doing one a week um, on the run up to Halloween so that's it for now thanks so many guys and I'll chat to you all really soon. Slán.